Hi, I'm Aura Moranian, Rancho Palace Verde City Manager, and welcome to Whale of a Day. Hello, and thanks for joining us today on a very special City Talk. I'm Maria Soreo. And I'm Liz Brown Swanson. Welcome to the 37th annual Whale of a Day celebration in Rancho Palos Verdes. That's right. We didn't have it for two years here, but we are back, and I think the entire community will be out today for sure, Liz. So exciting. I think the whales are passing by. They're very excited to be returning here for Whale of a Day. That's right. Uh, but what a glorious celebration. The weather couldn't be better. So beautiful. We have our own booth this year. We're giving away stuff, and we can't wait to talk to everyone and just get their opinion on what's going on here and how much fun they're having today, Liz. I know. It's fun hanging out here with the booth, and right next it to is. us, we're looking at the most glorious ocean view, Catalina. Oh, beautiful. And, of course, the Point Vicente Interpretive Center, where people come right down here all every day of the year. Well, right, because they're always well watching. We've got the census takers in the back, and we're going to hope to hear that bell ring, which means there's some whales out there, Liz. What do you love about coming here, Maria? We've been doing this for years. So many years, and you know, it's just such a nice day. People in the community come out, and everybody kind of runs into each other and talks, and I just love that. I love the catching up with everybody. And How I about think, you? I think what I love is just that sense of community and mm -hmm. the education. I mean, it is about celebrating the whale migration. It is. I mean, this is a jewel, this location in our city. People come from all over the world just to be able to spot the whales with your naked eye because it's very hard to do. And Absolutely. They see those fluking tails. And uh, I actually, this year, I haven't had much luck. I've been looking, but I haven't seen much. Just a few blows. How about you? Well, I haven't seen anything yet, but the day is young, so we'll see what happens. I think I heard one's coming just for you today. Ooh, that would be very <laughs> fun. That would be fun. And Liz, there's so much shopping opportunities here because in our booth, I just have to tell you, there's just booths all over the place here. And... I don't know if that's safe for Liz and I, but we're going to have yeah. some fun I for mean, sure. You've got, you've got people here selling like marine themed jewelry, yes. of course. And then there's food, the beverages, they've taken it up. I mean, there's all both food trucks. And she's always searching for the kettle corn. I am. And Liz, I think I spotted a mermaid. Did you? Yeah, she's flapping her tail over there. I think we're going to have to check her out too. So, so much to get to in today's show, um, including we're going to talk to so many people in our community, we Liz. Are. A lot this takes place to put this all together from right. the volunteers from Los Serenos to Point Vicente. They co-sponsor this That's right. every year with the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. And um, they just, they're the docents that are here daily giving tours and educating our community about the whales and nature and uh, so much more. So yeah, there's a lot of people that were involved. We want to yes. check in with the people from our city and yeah. the community that made this happen. That's right. So don't go anywhere. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back. everyone to Whale of a Day, um, one of the major events that we hear, we hold here in Rancho Palos Verdes. Uh, it's really special to be able to see everybody coming out. Um, it's been a while. Um, hopefully everybody will come back out for our 4th of July celebration. Um, and during that time, I plan on beating John Krushank in the pie co eating contest this year. I, I unfortunately have come up empty two years in a row to uh, Councilman Krushank. I should have wore the belt. No, you should not. That would have been good. The, 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 no, no belt. Anyways, but I wanted to say thank you for all coming out. Uh, have a wonderful time. And uh, come up and say hello to your city council um, if you see us walking around. Um, let me give, turn it over to Mayor Pro Tim uh, Barber Ferraro. Hello, everybody. We're just so glad that you could come out today. We're actually so glad that we could have this event finally this year. And it's wonderful to see so many children, little kids, big kids. I guess we're all big kids, right? And I hope you all have a great time. Thank goodness we got the weather dialed down a little bit. And enjoy all the booths. Go see inside the exhibits of the uh, t-shirt winners because we had a contest to see who could draw the design for our t-shirts. I'm wearing one of them. For the winner, Lena Craig, and she came to our meeting the other night and led us in the Pledge of Allegiance. It's just a great event. 
Glad you're here. And stay until the end. Kim Dida, our council member. Welcome, everybody. I'm glad you're all here. It's been a long time waiting for this to come about. And I want to welcome not only RPV residents, but I understand there's a, quite a few of our neighbors down as far south as Newport Beach. So welcome all of you. Enjoy the day. Have a good time. And we'll look forward to you on the 4th of July. Thank you, Councilman Dida. Good morning, everyone. It's great to see you, Peninsula, uh, those of you from the Peninsula, as well as those of you visiting from the South Bay and beyond. We are so excited to have this event today with all of you. Whale of the Day is a really special event. It marks the season of the spring and a season of hope for all of us. So it's wonderful to be with you. Enjoy all the activities here today, and God bless. And I'll hand you off to Councilman John Crookshank. All right. Unfortunately, thank you, Eric. Unfortunately, there's no pie eating contest today, so that activity we have to wait till the 4th of July. Um, and hopefully we have more than just the mayor and myself participate this year. Maybe we have actually the kids participate again and the adults participate you know what? It's again. Better that's... And so it would be a lot more fun. So anyhow, uh, Whale of a Day uh, is an exciting day for our city. Um, I know the goats are here. The beer and wine are here, all the kids are here, face painting, and so we're going to have a lot of fun today. Thank you all for coming out. Have fun. Well, the day would not happen without Emily Rodine. Emily, this is a labor of love every year. How has it been going for you? You did a great job so far. I mean, I think the turnout is amazing. It's a gorgeous day here, and as much work it is on my end, my team that's here, the Recreation and Park staff, it's just a whole joint effort and the Los Serenos docents, it's just all happening and it's beautiful. You know, it's amazing because I mean, every year it gets bigger and bigger. We didn't have it for two years, but this year, oh my gosh. I mean, the booze, the people, it is just fantastic. I think just not having it for two years, it just amplified that attendance that much more, um, but smiles on the faces, plenty of things for kids and the rest of the family to do. So they're just really having a great time. For people that don't realize this, it doesn't happen overnight. This takes months and months to put together, but this was your first one doing it solo. This is my first year taking over this event. Um, I was supposed to do it in 2020, and then we had to put it on hold because of COVID, and then we did the virtual whale of a day, so that was fun. But obviously, this is a thousand times better. Um, and we start planning. We have meetings with the docents in December, so that is what kicks off the planning for this event. So it is very long, um, and that's what has the great turnout. Of course, you've got the Well of a Day logos painted on your cheeks, and that booth is always packed. I think face painting is probably one of the most popular, and I just had to dive in and get my own little design too, and just show the spirit of Whale of a Day and that great energy. And also all the food, I mean the food trucks, and there's something for everyone here. Yeah, there's just definitely, definitely a variety. There's all our local organizations that have their booths, um, tons of vendors that have marine theme, arts and crafts. Um, the docents are holding down the games and face painting and origami and then we have our iconic whale hats and then yes plenty of food trucks there's definitely a good variety really something for everyone and a big thank you for our rpv tv booth emily because we're having a blast here giving stuff away thank you so much maria have a great one all right hey and have a great well of a day well, we're so excited to have the chair of this year's Whale of a Day, Dorian Harris. She is the first vice president with Los Serenos to Point Vicente. Your group, of course, co-sponsors this event with the city. How is it going? It's going really well. We have a lot of volunteers, docents. Over 65 docents have shown up to help pull off this day with crafts, face painting, games, our puppet show, our interpretive center tours, and outreach. This truly really is a partnership with your organization of volunteers and our city. You've been to many Whale of a Days. What do you look forward to? What are you enjoying today? What do you love? I actually love seeing all the kids get excited about the whales and showing them inside the center and, of course, playing the games. They love that. And just seeing so many people back here at the point. Now, I was just wandering, and I ended up in the silent auction item area, of course, to benefit your organization. Um, so many great um, donations. Yes. Because um, you, you depend on those. Talk a little yes. bit more about the organization, what you do, and how people can get involved. Uh, the donations and raffles, that money will go to Los Serenos to help support the displays within the Interpretive Center and also training new docents that may be coming in the future. And our training session for new docents is September through Je February of each year. 
Now this is our 37th Whale of a Day your organization. has been around for decades. For someone that doesn't know really about your goals and what you do, what would you tell them to get them interested to perhaps volunteering? It's educational about, of course, the migration of the gray whales, but everything about the peninsula is what we try to share with the community by volunteers. Well, you have to get one of the most festive awards for your face painting. Can you give us, show us Dory and model your beautiful, beautiful painted face? And she's always sparkling. I'm going to let you get back. Anything you want to add for the viewers watching that didn't make it here today? I think this is one of the most exciting, the most beautiful. The weather is spot on perfect. Thank you. Um, just everybody, thank you for coming and come to the center after today. You'll have a docent always available to help you through the center, explain and tell you more about our wonderful place, Palos Verdes Peninsula. Yes. That interpreter center is pretty much open almost every day of the year, except for a few. You'll always see the docents with your group. And after you get a tour, you got to make sure to stop in to the gift shop, right? Absolutely. I got yeah. my earrings at that gift shop. I uh, you, oh, you, oh. Some of my jewelry, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining us. And uh, we're going to continue with festivities right here at Whale of a Day. All right. We are supposed to have fun at Whale of a Day. And... Eric, I think you are having fun with your family here. I'm always having fun here, Maria. It's great to be with you, great to be with the whole community. What a great day. It's beautiful out. Can you believe it's been two years since we've had Whale of a Day, but now everybody is back and just a huge crowd today. It's a, it's a huge crowd. I think people are excited to be out of their homes and back with the community together. As I was saying, I think this is really uh, the marker of spring, really, in our community, that we're officially here and we have hope. We're going to have a great 2022. What is your favorite part of Well of the Day? Oh, I just like seeing the multi-generational nature of the event. I love seeing the grandkids and the grandparents. Everybody's out, and I see a lot of smiles out there, Maria. Oh, that's, that's huge. Okay, what's your favorite thing about Well of the Day? Um, playing games. Playing games. How about you, Christian? Uh, the food. Ooh, good yeah. answers, yes. and we've got toys going on here, so everybody, something for everyone. Oh, there is something for everybody here, all ages. Very nice. Well, thank you for spending a few minutes with us. Have a whale of a time, you guys. Oh, thank you, Maria. Well, this is so exciting to be at Whale of a Day with our city founder, Ken Dida, and council member. There's probably no one that could tell more Whale of a Day stories than you. You've been to a lot of them. What do you love about this event? Well, most of uh, my experience has been a great joy in watching the whales go through the Catalina Channel. Uh, it's amazing. And uh, some of the people in the Cetaceous Society uh, actually have names for them. So they, they get to recognize them and see them come back every year. So that's great. And it's been a long time. And the crowd today is fantastic. There's a two-year pent-up emotion to try and get here. And not only are we full in the parking lot here, City Hall parking lot is full, so it's amazing. Yes, this this particular location, the gorgeous ocean view, the whales going by, the interpretive center, this is a treasure in our city that we get to take advantage of 365 days a year. I asked this to the mayor as well, like what is your vision for this whole area in the interpretive center, the role that this is serving in our community? Well, it this is civics that the PVIC started out with a 3-2 vote, basically, and there was some skepticism, but as it turns out, it's great. We know that you've been so committed to the history, the PV Historical Society, which you, you were president of. They have a booth here at Whale of a Day trying to spread information and education because it's really about educating and we don't want to forget our great history. I'm going to let you go wander Whale of a Day. Where are you going to head off to next? I know you were up on the stage I'm greeting the community. I'm just going to go around and visit all the booths. All right, well, enjoy uh, that, yourself. That, that, that's what I'm going to do, and it's fun. And thanks for being a whale of a leader for our city. There's <laughs> nobody better than Ken Dida. We are now joined by our Mayor Pro Tem, Barbara Ferraro. And Barbara, you and I were just talking about the energy and how much fun it is to be back at Whale of a Day. Oh, yes. I mean, you can just feel it. People are so happy to be outside. It's a beautiful day. Thank goodness it's not as hot as it was the last two days. But so many people here at 10 o'clock already. I know. You know, and lots they started of, right out. Yes, lots of children are here already, and it's just a fun day, and you can feel the energy. What do you miss the most about Well of a Day when we didn't have it? 
oh, just just getting together with a community. You know, I think that's one of the most special things about RPV is that we have events where the community comes together. I mean, sometimes I see people I haven't seen for months or even years sometimes. And, you know, and having all the generations here with the little kids and the, the teenagers that are helping out here and then it's just fun, you know. I won't say, and the older people coming because, you know, some of us are still very young at heart. I think, you know I think we're all just big kids today. Yes, that's it, exactly. I want to play with the beach ball thing. Yeah, you know, we're just having a good time. Yes, exactly. You know, and also, it's so fun because we see all the vendors here and local people, like you said, and like so much fun stuff to eat. Like, you could really, you're, you have a well of a time for sure. <laughs> That's for sure. My husband's even here working in the Palos Verde Sunset Rotary booth. So, you know, it's for everybody in the community to come on down. And you can hear maybe music in the background. There's going to be several different bands here. And so many things to do. I saw the ring toss. You know? And of course the well migration back there. All of the census takers are back there. And we're hoping to hear that bell ring because that means there's a whale up there. You know, I was so amazed in reading things about this event that a, a, one whale can grow to 50 feet long and 80,000 pounds. One whale. Incredible. And of course, they're mammals. Right. You know, that that's for you kids out there that think they're fish. <laughs> exactly. They're mammals. But 80,000 tons and 50 feet long. We love it when they either flew and you get to see the little tail come up, or even the blows. It's so exciting to see it. Yes, one of the blows I noticed was heart shaped. That's right. You know, amazing. And they go from Baja, California, back up to Alaska from basically December to May. And we have people here that count all the time during that time. They are dedicated back on that patio. Of course, they have a beautiful view, so it's a pretty spectacular job. Yeah. We're here at the Point Vicente Interpretive Center, so really just so much going on today, Barbara. Yes, I'm so glad to be here. I just love the whole environment. The vibes are wonderful. Take 73. All right, take 73 because that's the founding of our city. I'm here with Mayor Dave Bradley at Whale of a Day, having a whale of a time. Absolutely. This is exciting that we can finally be out here and get Whale of a Day back on the road uh, after a two-year hiatus. It's really exciting to be out here. Well, I mean, to come back after two years, we're going strong. Uh, because of the pandemic, we weren't allowed to gather. But this is bigger and better than ever, and the whales are coming by just to say hi to the mayor. Absolutely. Uh, hopefully we will get some whales passing by today and the folks will be able to see them as they come by. Uh, but it's a great turnout so far. Uh, we have a lot of booths and uh, vendors out here. Uh, so hopefully a lot of the community is going to come out and be with us today. Right. We were joking at the beginning, take 73 with the mayor, as we said. That is the founding of Rancho Palos Verdes. And we are gearing up to continue celebrating. We love to celebrate in our PV for our 50th anniversary. What are you looking forward to this year? Well, I'm looking forward to the kickoff in September of our 50th anniversary celebration. We're going to be doing an event every month starting in September all the way through September of 2023 when it will be the official 50th birthday of the founding of Rancho Palos Verdes. A really exciting time to be in the city and to see how the city has progressed over the last 50 years. And right here, this location at Lower Point Vicente, the Interpretive Center, truly a jewel of our community to come out. It doesn't get any more beautiful than this. What is sort of the vision here? Well, we'd like to work with the U.S. Coast Guard to help incorporate Lower Point Vicente in with the Point Vicente Lighthouse. Um, the Coast Guard is considering how to go forward with what to do with various lighthouse properties from around the country. Uh, we've been working with the Coast Guard to try to figure out a way that we can integrate local government with federal government um, for the best of the people. Uh, that also goes with the upper uh, Battery Barn site up by City Hall. Um, so we're uh, working with the federal government to see how best we can uh, integrate the two uh, agencies together. Well, back to Whale of a Day here. You've been many years. What do you enjoy most? What are we looking forward to today? 
I'm just looking forward to seeing a bunch of folks that we haven't been able to see in person over the last two years. Um, it's really exciting to come out and see the community, be able to shake hands or bump fists with whatever is folks are comfortable with, but it's just great to be out in the community and see everyone again. We are now joined by Councilman John Crookshank. John, welcome back to Well of a Day. Whale of a day. Well, it's uh, been a few years since we've really been fully back in person. This is incredible. It is, and really, we were just talking about the fact that there's so much energy, and everybody in the community is. The drums. I know. Are they playing that for us? They are. Oh, well, then it's We're being serenaded today. I don't know what the drums are telling me right now, but it gives me a lot of energy. I love it. It does. And you actually bought something for your wife. Show us what you got. Well, so um, this week at our city council meeting, we had a number of our student artists come to our city council meeting. And the winner, she's a seventh grader, and she made this amazing piece of art that they put on t-shirts and now they're selling them. And so I got my wife one. It's not a surprise, so by the time she sees this, it'll be oh, two weeks after she already be wearing it. Exactly. No, but it's always surprising me because my wife is an artist and many people in our community are, and I'm not at all. But when all these uh, students come into our meetings and they show the artwork, it just blows me away. It's like, this is professional grade art. And then when you see something creative like a big whale riding a tiny little bike, that's creative. That you gotta have. And what is your favorite thing about Whale of a Day, John? You know, I, this might sound a little corny, but there's something to be said about celebrating the whales migrating, right? I mean, it's just something, it's a rite of passage for them. And we're at, a, at Point Vicente and, and the famous Point Vicente location where people count the whales. And I think it's important for all of us to, to remember why why the whales are important and what they mean to the ocean. So that, that's kind of my favorite part. We're hoping that the census takers are going to ring that bell back there because that means they're spotting whales. Yes, but you can't hear it over the drums. I know. <laughs> we'll have to send Liz back there and she'll, she'll see if the bells are ringing. Well, we'll send Liz back and hopefully it's ringing a lot. And it, it's fun to listen or watch the count and as, they, as the year goes on and you can see the number of whales migrating and, you know, not just the number of them, but the uh, adults versus the pups or whatever they call them. So that, that's neat. And really such a beautiful view while you're watching. Well, you can't beat the view. I mean, that's why we live in Rancho Palos Verdes because we love the view. We love to look at the ocean and Catalina, the whales, L.A. County, all the things we see. All right, John, well, thank you for spending a few minutes with us. We're going to let you go and shop and have a well of a time. Oh, I will. Thank you. But, you know, it's a great day and a great opportunity. We have our life-size gray whale here, our 55-foot uh, gray whale and her calf at 16 foot. She's about as big as they would be at uh, newborn to maybe up to a month old. And we're really excited to be able to bring her out to the public for the first time. We just received our whales. Uh, thanks to support from the Port of Los Angeles and Joe Buscaino's office, we received funding for a pod of four life-size inflatable whales. So we have a life-size blue whale, a life-size humpback whale, and then of course our gray whale and calf. I am now joined in the booth by Dylan and Winter, and we are talking some sports here at well of a day now Dylan you told me that you are a Rams fan and 100%. 100%. it must have been really exciting because you know why I watch every game, every game. And they won the biggest game of all the Super Bowl right. against the Bengals winner right. you told me you guys also like basketball you like the I've been to a basketball class wow. and I loved it okay and you're a Lakers fan too right Yep. Okay. And I know you guys also, for baseball, you like the... The Angels and the Dodgers. Okay. Now, tell me what your favorite part of today has been so far. Because this is well of a day. I know you got your face painted. That was pretty fun. I like to learn about the animals. Okay. And the foxes. Nice. And this is a great place to do that, right? Because we got the ocean right here and it's all about the whales. How about for you, Dylan? The activities. The activities were great. I'm actually here with Kiwanis, which is a, a nonprofit group that we help to serve underserved children throughout the South Bay. And we have a scholarship program for high school students. We have a project shoe program where our children get shoes, new shoes in the beginning of school. We have Christmas gifts and parties um, for these children that are very very needy in our community. A lot of people don't realize that the greater um, lower South Bay does have its fair share. And also we have other 
entities here. So we're really blessed. I mean, we've got Los Serenos right here. Basically, they started this event. Thank God for them. And we have uh, the Rotaries out there with us. We have the Historical Society has been re-upped. Uh, Dana Graham and, and Leanne Lorraine are working that, which is wonderful. So we're just perfect day, perfect place. And it's wonderful to be back out with everybody again. And of course, all the humans want to know about the whales and everything, all the sea life. What are you telling them about your world out there at the sea? Uh, well, I'm telling them that you want to keep it clean. I swim around and I see all this trash and it's really hard to see with all the trash everywhere and we want to pick it up and keep it clean so all the fish and all my fish friends can stay healthy. And your human friends here love you so much. You are one of the most beautiful mermaids we've ever seen, is that right? Yeah. What, do you, what do you think of Mallory the mermaid? She's really pretty and nice. She's amazing. Cool. All right, Liz has been out shopping, and Liz, what have you bought? I've been working so hard shopping while yes. Maria's been here manning or womaning the booth for RPVT. Right? But this year, I mean, the vendors are so extraordinary. So much stuff. There's beautiful jewelry. What I love is the nautical theme. Yes. And we I always picked up a gorgeous hanging mobile, which I know our cameraman Carl will show you. Yes. Um, and what I also need to buy is the t-shirt the t-shirt talk about the t-shirt liz because that was the winner of the poster contest yes. tell us about that this year's whale of a day winner middle school student seventh grader from ridgecrest so much talent there was more than 60 submissions amazing so many great the, artists here yes they are so much talent on the hill um and the cool thing was they the winners went before the RPV City Council. Yes. And they were able to show their beautiful posters, all representing and reflecting Whale of a Day. Absolutely. And the winner, drum roll, yes. I did get to interview her yes. at City Hall, or I should say at Hess Park. And let's hear from the winner of this year's Whale of a Day. Take it away, Lena. All right, I'm here with the middle school student from Ridgecrest. Congratulations. You won the Whale of a Day poster contest. I love the whale. Tell us what went into this painting. So over COVID, what me and my friends did for most of the time was we just rode our bikes. So that's kind of what inspired the whale on a bike kind of image. And then I kind of added the phone just for a modern touch because everyone seems to have them these days. This whale's got it all going on. And I talked a little bit about whale of a day. You've never been, but you're looking forward to maybe checking it out this time. What do you enjoy most about whale watch season that's here right now in our city? It's cool to see the whales. They're really big, just interesting animals that I don't know a lot about, and it'd be interesting to learn more about them. Right. If a little kid was coming up to you and said, tell me about your whale, how would you describe what you did? Just <laughs> kind of like a fun, fat, cartoony whale on a bike, kind of enjoying life, not worrying about anything. I love that. Well, you have a, a great time. Congratulations. Good job. All right, Liz, well, it has been a whale of a time, a huge success here today. Everyone in the community came out. I know, I've loved working with you and being here, so grateful. Time for our whale of a day checklist. Beautiful yes. weather, check. A lot of people, check. Great vendors and food, check, check. Check, check. It doesn't get any better than this, check. Yes, it has been just a whale of a time. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Maria Soraya. I'm Liz Brown Swanson. We'll see you next time.